Uh, greetings, uh, everyone. We are grateful to God for this far. He has led us. I want us to go to have a short presentation in the few series I'll be having about the Word of God. And uh, allow me pray, then uh, we'll begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We honor your name. We glorify you for your goodness. Thank you for this far. We want to share your word. We pray your blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, I have had pleasure in the word of God. It has been a, a real experience. And uh, I think uh, it was just thought it wise to share some of the uh, biblical uh, exciting uh, themes concerning the word of God. And I, I, I really love the book of Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah speaks concerning the word of God and uh, it's very interesting. I don't have the PowerPoint. I'll just be opening my verse and we shall be just reading and reading uh, the, the pow power in the word of God. That is what we want to consider today under the topic, the word of God, power in the word of God. Uh, I find the word of God exciting and I see Jeremiah was also excited by the word of God. He says that, in chapter 15, verse 16, thy words were found. Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and they, and thy words was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. So Jeremiah says that uh, he finds the word of God and he finds joy, and uh, that is my joy to my uh, my experience with the word of god whenever i open the word of god i see uh joy goodness of the lord and so today i want us to see power in the word of god very quickly just very simple verses but they have impact because i'll be able to share with us as in as we'll be sharing how uh effectively that word of that the power in the word of God can be in our life and what it can do for us. And I uh, hope hoping that the series will be a blessing. Back in Genesis chapter one, that is where we begin. In Genesis chapter one, uh very fast to see the power in the word of God. Genesis chapter one, verses three tells us something very interesting and the very first point i'm bringing home is that the power of in the word of god was able to bring or rather to create genesis 1 chapter 3 says and god said god uses his words to speak we speak words and so we are told god said let there be light and there was light wow so there was light just by the command of God, the word of God. God said, let there be light. And there was light. Interesting to see that. And so uh, we see the power of God, the power of the word of God in that. And so we go again to the next line, verse 6. I want us just to see the power in the word of God. Verse 6, and God said, let there be firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the, uh, the, the, divide the waters from the waters and God made the firmament. So it was so. We see God using his word and accomplishing the creation. Uh, verses 9, and God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together, and it was so. And so we see a number of times uh, in the creation, uh, God using his word to create. Verses 11, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, 
and uh, the earth did brood forth uh, as was commanded by the word that proceeded from the mouth of God. And so that is very interesting to note. That is very interesting to uh, actually to, to see. And so... Uh, and so we see in verses 11, God said, and it's happening <laughs> exactly how God says and uh, how uh, the creation uh, is done by the, uh, that shows how our power was in the word of God. And um, Psalms, uh, David speaks about this, Psalms 33 verses 6. Psalms 33, Psalms 33 and verse 6. My Bible tells me, verse 6 um, of Psalms 33. Um, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. And so... Uh, everything that existed in the world by the breath from the mouth of God, by the word of God, they existed. And so we see the creative power uh, that uh, was exerted by the word of God. Verses 9, for he does what? He spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Wow. So God speaks and it was so. He spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood past. Uh, the same same psalmist confirms in 148 of 5, 148 Psalms, verses 5, still telling us how God is accomplishing the work of creation by command of his word. Verses 5 said, let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. Wow. So I, this is so interesting. You will see at, as we end, uh, before we end this presentation, how it is as a very important to note that uh, 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 God is actually creating by the power uh, of his word. And uh, we go to John 1 verses 1, a very common verse. John 1, 1, we see, uh, we, we, we see a comparison, something similar to what we've uh, read, and we are drawing lessons uh, uh, that will impact our life and uh, really see the important, the impact of the word of God. This is John. One verses one, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was, and the word was, uh, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Wow. Uh, the same was in the beginning with God. The same was in the beginning with God. And so we see in John uh, one verses one actually says that there was the word in the beginning and we've seen that God is creating through uh, or rather by speaking a word and so we are told also here that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and then uh, you continue to verses 14 it says uh, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory as the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And that was uh, the Son of God. Jesus Christ, uh, he referred to as the word and uh, who existed from the beginning uh, when uh, actually... Uh, as we consider John 1, 1, when it says that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning and all things were made by him. Very interesting. And so God speaks as we are told that he spake and it was so. So God speaking and he speaks the word and the word uh, creates 
uh, it speaks the word. And we are told also, it, all things were made by him. And without him was, uh, without him was not anything made that was, that was made. Interesting to know that uh, this word is uh, Jesus Christ. And so uh, God creates by Jesus Christ. And uh, we can be able to see that further in uh, the book of uh, Revelation uh, 19 verses 13. Actually, we are told that the word is Christ in Revelation 19, 13. And uh, we see also another aspect of creation. Revelation 19, verses 13. My Bible says, um, 19, 13 of the book of Revelation. Bible says, and the sea gave up the dead, Sorry, that is 20. Uh, 19 verses. Uh, it says, um, And he was clothed with a venture dipped in blood. That is Jesus Christ who is clothed in a venture dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of God. So we see that word existed right from the beginning. And... Uh, uh, it was through him that the creation was accomplished. It was through him that creation was accomplished. Let's confirm that in the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews, still looking at the word, the power in the word of God. And uh, we are seeing this word uh, is actually Jesus Christ. And uh, Hebrews 1. Uh, Verses 1 said, God who at sundry times and in, in diverse manners speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. God has spoken unto us by his son. By, uh, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom? Also, he made the world. Interesting that uh, uh, by Christ the worlds were made, and we see that uh, it is it was the word that uh, the power in the word that uh, God used to create. First, uh, Corinth, Colossians actually, Colossians also tells us something. The book of Colossians. Um, the book of Colossians has something interesting for us. One verses fifteen. Uh, it says, "Who in the image? Uh huh. Who who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creation? For by Him were all things created. So by Christ." God created by Christ. By him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Wow. So God's created by Christ and everything that was created was created for him. Uh, it was created for him. And so... Uh, we are seeing Christ in creation and we are seeing God actually using his word to create. And that word is Christ Jesus. Remember, we are still talking about uh, power in the word. Finally, First Corinthians, uh, in that aspect of Christ being the word and exercising the creation. Actually, Christ as the creator, but God creates by Christ. And so I'll be able to show us how that is very uh, significant in our lives. And uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 8, 1 Corinthians 8, verses 6, the Bible says, But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things. So God of whom one God the Father of whom are all things and we in him, 
and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. So it was by him that all things existed that are uh, are uh, uh, then. So we see we see that uh, very interesting. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate that. Something very interesting again to note uh, about creation. God created by Christ through the power of his word. And uh, he also upholds and sustains the created matter. Let's go back to the book of Hebrews 1. And then now we will read verses 3. The book of Hebrews 1, verses 3. Uh, I'm doing a shift to show us how, having seen the power in the word of God, that God will be able to just speak uh, and commands and it is so and uh, the book of Hebrews also tells us that it was not only to uh, actually uh, create but that word let me read who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things so he did create by the power of the word and by uh by the same power, he upholds created matter, upholding all things by the word of his power. So he upholds all things by the word of his power. He sustains created matter, thing, the things that were created there in their places because of the command of God. See how powerful the word of God is? The sea is sustained where it is because they obey the command of God, the power in the word of God. When he had by himself purged our sins and sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. And so we also consider 2 Peter 3 verses 7. 2 Peter 3 verses 7. Interesting to know that uh, uh, creative power Sustain, uh -huh. Vers, uh, again, verses 5 says, For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God, by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word. So they were created by the word and by the same word are kept in store. They are reserved uh, unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of the ungodly man. Wow. So God creates by his word, the power of God, the power of the word creates and the power of the word sustains created matter, upholds them, keeps them in check uh, in their places. Interesting to know. Now, uh, as we end this, just uh, uh, opening our minds and seeing how, how powerful the word of God can be in your, in your life. And uh, looking at this, when we become new creatures in Christ Jesus, that is second... Uh, Corinthians, Second Corinthians, we want to become Christians, we want to become new creatures, we want to be created anew and have an experience with Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. He is a new creator, creature meaning that he has been created. We've seen the agency of creation being the word of God in the natural things. And I want to uh, bring uh, to our understanding that uh, our, we are also created anew when we be in Christ Jesus. And so those who are longing to be in Christ Jesus has to be created. But by what agency? The word of God. The word of God. And um, I can confirm that in the book of, of uh, uh, or rather, we can still read John 3, 3, 
being born again, John 3, 3. Uh, John 3, 3. We are born again. Uh, God, Jesus speaks to this man, Nicodemus, and says in verses 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, except a man be created anew. In other words, uh, uh, again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Interesting. He cannot see the kingdom of God. So for someone to see the kingdom of God, he needs a new, he needs to be created again. He needs to be created anew as uh, as uh, spoken of by uh, the writer of uh, First Corinthians. And so uh, by what agency? I've just said it is by the word of God. But let's confirm that in uh, Second Peter, rather First Peter, 123 2 Peter 1.23. Bible says uh, sorry. The Bible says being born again, being created anew, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. By the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Amen. Uh, so we see, we see that, uh, we see that uh, we are created anew. Uh, we are born again by, by incorruptible seed, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed, the word of God. So notice the word of God had power to create, but it, it 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 did not stop there. It sustained the created matter, or rather the creation. All things that were created by the power in the word of God, they were sustained. They are up. They are upheld by that word. And so I want to bring to us, even as we close, that uh, there is power in the word of God. In every command of the word of God, there is power. And when God creates, when we become new creatures in Christ Jesus, we are created anew by the same agency, the word. And we will consider the, uh, in some series to come how, how Christ actually dwells in us uh, because we've also realized that that word also uh, actually uh, signifies Christ or rather speaks about Christ. And so we are we are created by the word. But notice as we end, it continues by saying, for all flesh is as grass and as the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto us amen the word of god enjoyeth forever what does it mean it will sustains us forever as long as we uh, be faithful to every command of god because it has power it will uphold us forever it will keep us it will sustain us just as created matters are uh, sustained by the same word that created them, that brought them into existence. When we are uh, brought into spiritual existence by creation through the word, the same word that endured forever will keep us, will uphold us, and uh, uh, will bring us to a perfection of character. Uh, that is very interesting uh, to know. Let's finish in this with this thought. The first command of uh, the first command in the word of God in the creation was uh, actually let there be light. Interesting to note the first command in creation, just bringing creation and the effect of the word of God in our life. Uh, the first uh, command of the word of God is let there, and God said, let there be light. When we accept to be created anew by the word of God, expects what to happen in our life? Uh, 
the common the, the light we are lightened we are lightened by by the word of god for we know that the word of god is light psalms 119 psalms 119 i want to five let me read very fast i want it to take exactly 30 minutes mm. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So the word of God is light. And we see the very first command of the word of God that had powers, let there be. And having seen that this new creation in Christ Jesus is accomplished by the word of God. And we are seeing another aspect that immediately God uh, commanded. Uh, the very first command was let there be light. Then in us there will be light because the word of God is light. First John, and we pray, first John. Uh, very interesting points to note uh, how significant uh, the word of God is, uh, is uh, in us. It says, uh, uh, we are told in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Uh, verses for in him was life so in the word is life and the life was the light of man wow so if we receive this word uh uh if we are created anew by the word then we will have the life in it and then uh we will be it will be our light we will have light the very first command of the word of god in creation let there be light. Friends of Jesus, if you want to have light in yourself, if you want to be sustained in your spiritual life, then uh, in, in, in your experience with Jesus Christ, then we have to uh, receive the word of God. And uh, we will continue seeing how, how things are going to work if we receive the word of God and how we are going to be light and how we are going to be having the experience that we are going to have with the word of God for it to uphold, for it to sustain and keeps us even unto that day of the Lord. God bless you. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your word which brings light, which has a uh, power to create. Lord, we pray that... Uh, May you create in us a new spirit. May you create us a new so that we will have your word within us. And may that word which endureth forever sustain us, uphold us, even unto the day of your coming when we'll be found faithful. May your will be done, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.